You want the video game news? But you can't handle the video game news! Okay, this is the video game news for December 4th of 2021. A little late because I'm busy trying to get ready for Endwalker. Anyway, uh, EA's lost another one. Oh boy, EA, EA, EA. Okay. How do you even pronounce this frickin' name? Oscar Gabrielson, general manager of DICE, is leaving the company at the end of the year. So, after Christmas, he's out. Let's see. Uh, former Ubisoft managing director Rebecca Coates. Rebecca Coates. Who worked on Steep, Assassin's Creed, and Ghost Recon will be taking his place. Okay. Ripple Effect, the developer of Battlefield 42's Portal mode, will be working on another game in the 2042 universe. And, and apparently, Respawn co-founder Vince Zappella Will now be in charge of Battlefield at DICE. Okay. Um, interesting development there. But, you know, just give us another Titanfall. Come on, Titanfall 2 was compared to Half-Life 2. You can't get a better endorsement than that. Give us another Titanfall. Speaking of this... Uh, Respawn is ending sales of the original Titanfall. Uh, the game has had only two developers maintaining it, and it's been plagued by several hack attacks uh, that made the game almost unplayable. And they're going to focus on, of course, more Apex Legends content. And, well, let's, let's just face it. A Jedi Fallen Order sequel is pretty much in the cards right now. I mean, it was a big hit, and I really liked the game, and it, and it made... It was a Souls-like without the crushing, soul-crushing difficulty, which a lot of people liked, because they want to be able to play those kinds of games, but not every one of us has... Not every one of us um, doesn't have a life. But just give us more Titanfall. Come on, it, it, the only reason why Titanfall 2 didn't do so well is because it was released along with, alongside other big titles at the exact same time. Other really big titles. Come on, just give us another Titanfall. Titanfall 2 was outstanding. As I said, people are, people have compared it to Half-Life 2. Come on, let's just get with the program. <sighs> the FTC is suing NVIDIA in order to stop their purchase of ARM. Uh, they say that the takeover would make NVIDIA too powerful. Agreed. Agreed. And it would stifle innovation in three key areas, and they list these areas. High-level advanced driver-assisted systems. This is not self-driving. Um... What this is, is a lot of RVs use this, where it warns you if you are swerving into another lane, or if there is a car in front of you, or beside you, or, or behind you. It assists you with that. It is not, not self-driving tech. It is tech that helps you keep your vehicle on the road. A lot of big trucks use stuff like this, too. But RVs use it as well. Um... ARM-based CPUs for cloud computing service providers. There's a lot of those. Uh, 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 ARM processors have become pretty big in the server space. Uh, DPU smart NICs. That is for data centers. That is um, network devices. 
for servers that are designed for a heightened security, better security. Uh, the FCC also says that the takeover could stifle innovation at ARM. True. Basically, the company may not may not uh, go in certain may not innovate certain things that would conflict with Nvidia, like say. Uh, they develop their own GPUs to go along with their SOCs. They may not do that. They may not try to compete with uh, NVIDIA because NVIDIA would own them. So that is a valid concern. Very valid concern. So... Okay. And... The news is brought to you by Gamers Bay. Gamers Bay is a community run by gamers, and it was started by gamers. We were originally on Google Plus before Google sent the community to the graveyard, or the whole site to the graveyard. We're now on MeWe. MeWe is a social media platform that is the anti-Facebook. They do not censor, they do not sell your data, they do not collect your data, they do not run ads. They do have an optional premium um, subscription, which I'm, which I signed up for, which is like $4 a month or whatever, but the link for joining the Gamers Bay community is in the description below, and I encourage you to go check out the community You'll like it there. We've it's taken us a while to get back to where we were when we were in Google Plus. We had a lot of members, a lot of activity, and we're finally starting to get that back after all this time of Google Plus being gone. Finally recovering from that. It was a huge hit. Anyway, now to the news bites. Short little news segments that um, don't take much time to go over but I might elaborate a little bit on each one okay a new online matrix game was teased on the PlayStation tour tour store and it will reportedly be running on Unreal Engine 5 Ooh, interesting there was once a matrix MMO but it died so are they going to try to bring the Matrix back, or is it going to be a, another shooter? Uh, there was one for Ghost in the Shell, and instead of doing an RPG or an MMO, they did a shooter, and it didn't do too well. That franchise needs that franchise needs better love than that. Ah, <sighs> okay. Three million four hundred and four. 1,295 new players joined Star Citizen in 2021. Most joined during the week-long Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, which uh, happened like about a week or so ago uh, that had a free fly event also where you could you could download and play the game without um, buying a without without investing any money that was held during the uh, Thanksgiving holiday so that was that's big that's a lot of people and the, the new update that's out the 315 dot the 3 315.1 stable as a freaking rock no 30ks anymore those are gone those are gone. I've never seen the game this stable before. I mean, that's a massive improvement to it. And the new inventory system is really good. Although I know that's a placeholder. Um, they're going to be implementing something completely different uh, eventually when they get everything physicalized. But right now, it's actually pretty usable. Speaking of Star Citizen... The game has collected a record $400 million in pledges to keep development going, and CIG uh, will be hiring 700 new employees to bring their total up to 1,700 employees 
2022. So they're hiring on new people for the company that's mostly going to be in England. That's where they're working on Squadron 42. It's, they may be doing this to finally push Squadron 42 out the door because the game is almost ready. And even Chris Roberts has moved his entire family back to England in order to work on the game. Okay. City Skylines is going VR, but there's a catch. It will only be on the headset formerly known as the Oculus Quest 2. That's no longer called Oculus, it's called Meta now. But uh, yeah, it's City Skylines is going to have a VR port, but it's only going to be on that headset. Like... Uh, City Skylines has not had an update in, like, what, how many years? I would ask Tiger, but he's not here at the moment. He's the one that plays that game most of the time. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people have abandoned that because of the launcher that was added by the publisher. Nobody liked that thing, and it caused all sorts of issues, like frame rate problems, and it used too many system resources. It, it spiked GPU sometimes to 100%. It, it's weird. They never got rid of it. And... Funcom and another developer called Nuclear? Never heard of them. What have they done? Working on a Dune survival game. A survival game based on Frank Herbert's Dune. Or... Uh, maybe based around the film not a lot of details yet but a survival game based on dune that would totally work where you are a fremen and you're trying to survive on arrakis that would totally work i would i'm i'm not big into these survival games arc survival um arc survival evolved or uh rust or things like that, but I would freaking play a Dune survival game where you can be a Fremen and kill Harkonnens. I, I, I would seriously play that. That I would definitely, definitely play. So, that's been the gaming news. I'll come back next week for more news. And also check out the channel for more stuff, more content, such as my reaction series. Also, I will be doing more streaming of Star Citizen. And I'll also be uh, talking about... Uh, I'll be talking about Endwalker. Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Right now, I'm still trying to get through the patches for uh, Shadowbringers, the... The end game, pa end game patches for Shadowbringers right now. I'm trying to get through that. I just powered through a dungeon that's been kicking my ass for over a year. I finally got through that thing. The mechanics in that fight were just absolutely freaking insane. So look forward to that. Uh, I'm also bringing back the, the Professor and my playthroughs of Half-Life Alex will continue as well. So expect those in the next coming weeks or so. Anyway, I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.